Slow Train Coast Sense coming into you with my first top five. Now these top five are fragrances that I'm gonna be reaching this November. So um, it's starting to get cooler at night. Uh, you guys up north are having one hell of a, a season. For us, it's a little late to the party, but I do feel the temperature dropping at night. So, so with the temperature dropping and everything, I feel like I wanna bust out some of my fall stuff. Now this one can easily be worn in winter, but these are, these are newer stuff that I'm gonna be, some new, some old, that I'm gonna be reaching for this November. So without any hesitation, let's get started. First one, it's gonna be Serge Luton's Shergui. Shergui, okay, so. Let me read you the notes real quick. Shergi, hay sugar, rose, incense, tobacco, sandalwood, amber, musk, and honey. What I get out of this one is a lot of rose and a lot of honey. I think the honey is one of the main players along with the rose as a supporting act. Tobacco's right in the background, but it's still, it's in the background, but it's still enveloping everything. Um, the incense is nice. It reminds me of the incense they used in the um, Search Lutons for War, which I need to get that one. That one, perfect for winter, but we'll get that too. We'll get that too. We'll get that later on. So this one is sweet. It's unisex, but it leans towards masculine. The rose kind of feminizes it a little bit, but this one I can be, I can see be worn at night. This one's mysterious, brooding intriguing, enigmatic. So at number two, we got Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo. Barely picked this one up. It hasn't had a day with me yet. Maybe it has, but anyways, this one I just got. I've smelled it before, I love it. The notes on this one is gonna be cardamom, sandalwood, black pepper, bergamot, sweet notes, orange blossom, tonka, and broxen, and cashmerian woods. So this one, a very sweet smelling uh, vanilla, amber, benzoin smelling, sprinkled with a light citrus on top. Let me refresh my memory real quick. Well, actually, I have it actually had the, had the base notes over here. Yeah, that's when all the amber just comes out. But in the beginning, so they say this, ooh, yeah. You smell those citrus and those sweet notes in there. That citrus flare, man. This one's perfect for night outs again. This one's perfect for dates. It ain't gonna be too uh, intrusive. This one, I remember showing it to some of my coworkers and the girls loved it, man. This one, for me, acts like an EDP for some reason. When I put it on my skin, it has like sort of that EDP feel, but it's not a toilet. I thought it was an EDP, but. So at number three, we got YSL's Lana Wheat Delone Lentons. Okay, so this one, uh, notes of, it's got iris, violet, sage, vanilla, tonka, and patchouli. Now, when I smell this, I smell, of course, the Lana Wheat Delone DNA in it, but it's a lot drier. It's not as sweet as Lana Wheat Delone. It has a more mature take on it. I feel like there's some tobacco in there, some leather, but there's not, well, otherwise it's not listed on there. But to me, it's like a less sweeter, more tobacco, more dry version of Lana Wheat Alone. This one, again, perfect for, it has a little powdery because of the iris. The violet really comes through, a nice floral kind of smell. I, I, I do like this one, but I prefer the Lana Wheat Alone. But that one's very special and I think I would rather wear this one in these time of months because because I haven't really spent time with the cologne as much as I have Lana Wheat. So I really want to give this one a try this year. So at number three, Lana Wheat the Low Mentons. Alright, at number four, we got <laughs> Paco Rabanzo Nilin Preve. Now People are <laughs> going crazy on Fragcom for this one. Oh, I grabbed the wrong bottle. I have a full bottle over there, actually. I should have brought it with me. Oh, you know what? I have it with me. <laughs> and I got it for a damn good price, too. So, um, anyways, uh, if you never smelled this one, a lot of people compare it to apple pie kind of kind of smell. I mean, I can see that, but let me tell you the notes on this one. Preve, it's got blood, man blood mandarin cinnamon. Uh, hookah, tobacco, myrrh, tonka, and patchouli. This one, 
a lot of cinnamon in the, in the beginning. I feel like there's some rose in there, considering it's the one million flanker. The first one million had rose in it, and I feel like it carried over to this one. Now this one, this one's a masterpiece. I can't believe that this continued it. It's very, it's almost niche-like quality and smell, man. Um, very reminiscent of Ohan and uh, uh, Duo's Amberlicious, which is uh, the Hermes Nargile. Amber Nargile, Amber Nargile. So uh, I remember getting this one in uh, winter in December and I kept putting it on and putting it on. When you put it on your skin, it's nice and thick and oily, just like an EDP should be. I feel like I'm enveloped in a blanket of warmth and cinnamon, that myrrh tobacco, that frankincense, incense, just colliding with the cinnamon, man. A little vanilla on the bottom. Tonka takes a back seat. This one, I'm gonna be wearing a lot more now that I have a full bottle. That one's not for sale, that one's for me. I think this one is a masterpiece, man. More mature than what the original One Million. This is like the older uh, uncle type that's more executive style, as opposed to the clubbing teenage, <laughs> uh, what would you say, niece or, uh, you know what I'm saying. I, I can't think of the name right now. Number five, I only have a sample of this, but I have a couple of decants over there. It's gonna be Parfum de Marley's Layton. Bright, citrusy, sparkly, effervescent opening with that cardamom, that apple. The notes on the on Layton is, it's got a lot. So it's got sandalwood, cardamom, lavender, apple, mandarin, violet, sandalwood. All right, it's sandalwood again. I'm sorry, guyac wood. Patchouli, geranium, and jasmine. What I get out of Layton, man, is that apple in the beginning with that vanilla smell. And it doesn't smell like a, a potpourri or Hugo Boss bottle in tens, where it's like, to me, it's like a novelty kind of scent. Layton, if you can get past that I kind of smell that Vicks kind of smell, that Vicks vapor rub. But once you get past that, man, it has a lovely dry down, man. It's got, um, it's that apple, the cardamom, and the vanilla really just marinating together, man. Actually, let me, sp let me spray it real quick. Let me remind my mind. Because I hate wasting this, but you know what? I'll do it for you guys. Okay. There. It's got that very, um, medicinal type of uh, opening that vixy minty um why would you call that uh eucalyptus -y kind of smell but when that dries when that when it when that tones down that sparkly effervescent cardamom comes out that apple was uh as a supporting role and the van just a big thick base of vanilla i really love the dry down for this one it's nice and sensual Crispy opening, sensual base, man. You can't go wrong with uh, Parfum de Marty's Layton. This one, uh, it's just a must have, man. Especially because besides Fratcom people, other people won't really be wearing this. So these are the five fragrances that I'll be reaching for in November. I'm gonna be getting a little more close and personal with these. One million Privé, I've had spent time with, but Chergui, Womo, Layton, Lentons, uh, Chergui, those are a little brand new to me, so I need to really spend time with it and see how they act. And uh, something about fragrances, man, they, again, they anchor moods, they anchor uh, days, events. And um, I will never forget the first time I smelled Lana Weed Below, and I'll never forget when I took it out for a walk. That sounds lame, not lame, but that sounds kind of weird taking it out for a walk, but when you're out for a walk and it's just you in the open air and that fragrance in there, it's something like, how do I explain this? It's something intimate, man. I believe these are works of art, like a, a song that you love to the end and it just reminds me, reminds you of that place and time where you first heard it or whatever happened. It just anchors that memory. And I believe fragrances are a piece of art, man, that, um, that a lot of people don't see. Some people just see one big smell. Oh, one million, okay. But when you really dissect what's going on, man, it's just a, a very, um, a very spiritual thing with that I have with sense, man. And I'm just a sucker for sense. But anyways, these are the five that I'm gonna be reaching for, man. I hope you guys 
try them. I hope you can guys get a nice bottle of Perve if you're looking for that for a very decent price, man. Some people are price gouging out here, man. But anyways, people need to make a buck and that's just fine, man. So anyways, Slow Tranquil Sense with another review. Now, you're still here? Okay, cool. Um, I got like seven or eight new colognes coming in so i'm gonna be doing reviews for that a lot of niche stuff and a lot of stuff that i've been wanting to smell and for some reason i never got to it so those should be coming in very soon and i'm gonna put out a video on those very soon man i hope you guys have a wonderful night thank you very much for sticking around slow tranquil sense full steam ahead baby party people out